this journey into the relationship economy started with the word consumer, with realizing that the word consumer meant to destroy often wastefully as in consumed by fire. And that when we were being treated as consumers, we were being treated certainly as less than whole humans. Um, I called it as gullets with wallets and eyeballs, uh, but rather just as things to sell to, that uh, as humans who should buy more stuff. There's plenty of good words. Customer and client are lovely words, time-honored. They mean the exchange of value for goods or services. Uh, member, citizen, participant, person, individual, household, patient, audience. Uh, some people don't like user because they think it means drug user or being used. I like it because it means usefulness. When you're putting things to use, you're a user. Uh, but I respect people who don't like it. My favorite these days, actually, is ally. I think being an ally means you're pulling on the rope in the same direction. That's really, really important. But there's more than this. We're not just customers now. We have superpowers uh, between the connectivity and the tools, the cost of doing things, things that companies used to only be able to do, we can now do for each other with each other. So we can recommend, coach, mentor, be watchdogs, writers, uh, amateurs. And amateurs means a whole bunch of different things. Amateur historians, amateur archaeologists, amateur scientists, all different sorts of things. We can test, share, repair, direct. Uh, we are all over the place. It's really quite impressive, which leads us to one more step, which is what if these people formerly known as consumers don't actually need companies? What if they can teach each other using unschooling? What if they can share software they've written using open source, which companies participate in as well in a big way these days? What if they can open science? What if they can change their towns? What if they can share goods rather than buying goods all the time? What if they can fund one another's efforts using crowdfunding? Uh, this really is an open question right now because all the things that I'm listing here exist today. These are not wish list items. Uh, these exist today. So if companies want to engage these consumers, these formally known as consumer people, uh, they're going to need to engage in a language shift. The old language that surrounds consumer is the language of profit maximization, of maximizing shareholder value. You launch campaigns against target demographics. It's the language of war. It's the language of ownership, market share, sustainable competitive advantage, control, broadcast. That, that's the world we've been coming from. That's the world that's been active for, for almost a century. Um, that language is shifting slowly, but it's shifting to words that had no room in the boardroom or executive meeting room before, like meaning and purpose and thriving and emergence and commons and gifting uh, that are now really important. So companies are understanding that they need to act as peers in the arena and to be seen as trustworthy, they need to act in a vulnerable way. They need to think of membership, not ownership, transparency, not proprietary stuff. And this is a big deal. So our language shift is metaphors of war and cattle herding and profit maximization to maybe metaphors of community and relationship, gardening, cultivation. The, the language around these sorts of activities is the right language that puts your brain in the frame of treating people as whole humans, as treating people with respect. And that's the goal. So Partly, I realized in the mid-90s that the word consumer was part of our problem, a gigantic part of our current problem, and that if we focus on that and change the language, we can actually get somewhere much more productive, and we can start treating each other as whole humans again with respect. I'm Jerry Mikulski. Thank you for watching this RexCast. There's a lot more at the links on this page. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you like this.